Some men, they say the hardest part of any journey is starting it. Me, on the other hand, I find it. <coughs> Ow! I find it to be ending the journey. See, whenever I play video games nowadays, I always find myself enjoying, loving, and praising the very starting moments of it. Whether it be Skyrim, Fallout, New Vegas, Fallout 4, Starfield, and of course Cyberpunk, I always love the starting moments of those games. I feel truly immersed from all the problems I have in life. Because at those moments, I think nothing more than the health bar right next to me, the amount of bullets in my gun, and the enemy itself. I love those moments, they truly intrigue me. But after I reach this certain, this climax, I realize that it's just ended. All the fun and all the entertainment I could get from these video games kind of stops. And I think I've realized why. So I just want to talk about it for a little bit, and I want to get everyone's opinion on the matter. I decided to play some of the newly released Bethesda titles, mainly because of, uh, well, a famous show that came out, no one probably heard about anyway. And after watching through the entire show, I just thought, hey, might as well go play Fallout 3, New Vegas, Fallout 4, Skyrim, Oblivion, and, you know, maybe play through Cyberpunk again, and, yeah. I did, and even Starfield, and upon playing those games again, I felt off. I loved the start of it because I chose to be on the hardest difficulty, meaning I'd get the most challenge out of everything, but after reaching this moment, this hiatus, this climax, I lost all interest, I wanted to move to the next thing, and well, I didn't really stop myself from doing it. After replaying New Vegas, Fallout 4, Skyrim, Cyberpunk, I realized exactly what it was. I became too strong. See, at the start of all of these games, you are technically a loser. You are a nobody and you will die a nobody, loser. And that's how it will proceed to go. But as with every game, you progress and you become stronger. But there's a part of me that has stuck with the From Software effect. See, I don't think anyone else has applied this or used a different term to describe it, but the way I like to see it is that every single moment must be a memory. See, with every single part of the Fallout, Skyrim, Cyberpunk, you know, all those roleplay games, they're fun, but hardly memorable in some aspects. When I played through these games again on the hardest difficulty, I found myself remembering more important parts. For example, I was playing through Fallout 4, and I was in the worst luck possible. See, I was running through the ruins of Boston, and I found myself with only one magazine left in my gun. My arms were both broken, and I ran out of stim packs. I was screwed. But, it was just me, and one gunner. Well, what I did, I just peeked down and shot the fool dead. See, moments like those, they're really uninteresting, but when you apply danger, consequences, and stakes, they become far more memorable. See, moments like these, they truly cause me to remember what exactly happened. When I played through Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earn Tree, I remember trying to get to that little pocket of grass just so I can sit there and recover. But I was scared because I was down to my final flask of healing and I knew, I knew, there was more enemies down the road. See, instances like those, they cause you to remember so goddamn well. And I love that. And they are mainly found throughout the start of these RPGs. But something happens after a minute. After a spell. See, 
Once you reach this moment, this aspect of the game, you no longer fear for your life. You're no longer concerned about, oh, survivability or just the odds. Instead, you know that you will beat any challenge that comes your way. You will succeed because you remember the layout of the map. You will slaughter all of your enemies. And that's the part that drives me away from these games. Because I remember the struggle, the memory. Let's go through another little example. See, it's this part in Fallout New Vegas. When I'm trying to reach past the Mojave, trying to get to Las Vegas. I just passed Helios 1, so I felt very good about myself with the NCR protection nearby. But I also wasn't in very good terms with uh, Caesar's Legion. So what did he do? He sent an entire batch of Legion assassins just to kill me. I had a good friend, Boone, as a companion. And with my good ties to the NCR, I could call in some backup. I knew immediately that I needed to fall back. Because, you know, standing in the open road with a bunch of Legion assassins trying to kill you isn't a good idea. So I fled back, hiding behind a bunch of rocks. While Boone st stood out in the open, getting shot at by a thousand bullets. I could commend his efforts, but ultimately found it to be stupid. I called in some NCR support, and we managed to fight off majority. The NCR troops all died, so it was just me and one more guy. I remember it quite vividly. I had one tiny bar of health, but so did he. He fired his 9mm machine gun all over the place, hitting the rocks that were covering me. I timed it out perfectly. The end of the bullets flying all over the place. I peeked and took my shot. It was a beautiful moment. See, afterwards, after all of these moments, all of these memorable little bits that course through my mind, the only thing that leaves me to wonder is, how come I don't continue more? I'll give a simple explanation. See, after I reach the New Vegas, after I reach Diamond City, after I go literally anywhere past Whiterun, I kind of lose it. I lose my interest. I stop worrying about, oh, the amount of bullets that I got, or the simple thought of, okay, well, I'm low on my stim pack, so maybe fighting isn't a good idea. I don't know what really causes it, but the moment I enter these safe cities, I ultimately just have enough resources to keep going and never worry again. I love these games very dearly. They mean so much to me because they help me create little ideas that can fester in my head and become f***ing little t But I really do love these games for the interactivity, those stakes that you feel, the immersion you get upon every little moment. But I feel as if it's all lost after the start. Because I feel as if in all of these RPGs, you manage to get far enough that you no longer need to worry. And at some point, you should feel that. You really should. And I feel like that is something that we all need. Because if you are in a constant struggle for survival and victory, you might as well just be playing Dark Souls 3. Like, come on, let's be real. Sometimes you just want to play a game to relax and sit down. Not to struggle, not to fight for every little breath you take. And that's a good thing. You shouldn't have to struggle every time you want to breathe. But for me, I find it to be very difficult to play these games after the climax. After all the joy and entertainment I get from these fates. I feel like I'm starting to rant at some point in this, but if I could be 100% honest, I do feel like these games are a lot more entertaining when you don't have a lot to work with. And once you reach these parts of superiority or enough supplies to really just win any encounter, you lose a lot of the fun factor from it. And of course, there is entertainment you can get from being a total badass and killing every single enemy that dares getting in your way. And that's a fun little thing, isn't it? But for me, I guess I just prefer the struggles of life. Well, good thing the world ain't ever gonna change. Ah, <sighs> thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great day.
So it's official, I'm not dead. And who knows, depending on your viewpoint, that's a bad thing. Anyway, I would like to apologize for, you know, my lack of videos and such, but to be honest, I I'm gonna use the tried and true YouTube format. I got burnt out. No, no, I actually didn't. It's it's more that I had a schedule that I wanted to upheed to, but it was more like I was doing it because I had to, not because I wanted to. And, of course, that is the first thing you want to do. And, well, yeah, that is kind of what you should do. So, yes, I'm not dead, I didn't quit, but no, I'm not coming back the way I used to. I want to be a bit more gradual, a bit more wanting to do it, wanting to do so, you know? I have been getting into uh, Godot and actually designing some stuff, so I don't know, I've been enjoying, been enjoying that a lot. I might use this to, uh, you know, actually do stuff there, or show off some stuff that I've been working on, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Thank you all for watching, and yeah, I'm not dead. Thank you all, and have yourselves a great day. You all deserve it. Goodbye.